Father Bob Stokig, Rector of the Guardian Angel Cathedral in Las Vegas, Nevada, coming to you with another one of our weekly reflections drawn from the Sunday readings. This for the 28th Sunday in Ordinary Time on October the 15th, the year 2023. The last two Sundays, the Gospel has given us the image of the vineyard and our participation in that vineyard and its harvest. And this week, we have a different sort of image, the one where we might imagine that great wine produced by the vineyard goes, a wedding feast. It's a story that has an unfortunate element to it because many are invited, but many have an excuse why they aren't going to come. And finally, People are dragged in from the roads, and those with the original RSVPs that were no's don't have a place at the banquet. It is a story, again, about the consequences of our choices to be part of the work of the kingdom of God or not, to be part of the embrace of God's reign or not. And often in our lives, we can find ourselves putting off our response to God and God's ongoing invitation in our lives. One of the interesting things that I think happened for a lot of us during the shutdown of COVID was that we had a chance to ruminate a bit about some of those choices we've made in our lives. And many people, I think, experienced a renewed commitment and a renewed hope as they thought about the ways in which they respond to God's invitation in their lives. As the liturgical year moves forward toward the feast of Christ the King at its end, we think again and again about not only God's invitation, not only the good news of the reign of God, but also of our response. We're invited to active participation in that reign of God, not just to be bystanders or sometimes, as I say, fans, to be embracing fully that invitation in our lives, perhaps for most of us, is the work of a lifetime. But these parable reminders continue to put those choices forefront as we continue in our life's journey toward our ultimate reunion in that reign of God. Wherever you are as you watch this reflection, we hope you and your family are well. We hope that you know that we continue to remember you and pray for you here at the cathedral, and we invite you to pray for the cathedral community as well until the day comes in the hopefully near future when you might join us here in person, live for worship here at the Guardian Angel Cathedral in Las Vegas. <laughs>